Hey guys, welcome back to another um, Xcode tutorial and this tutorial is basically just I'm going to show you guys about Xcode extensions which are really useful but uh, there's not a lot of them right now and most of them are paid so what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to demo anything because most of them are paid but basically um, I'll show you guys how to get them and what they are and why they're useful and things so Xcode extensions and I don't really need to create this project, but I'll just do it anyway. So, uh, just go here, and you don't really need to worry about this. So what you want to do is go up here, and go to Xcode, and click on Xcode Extensions, and it should take you to the App Store. I already had it opened, which is why um, it took me to that screen. But basically, this is a big list of extensions, which you can add to Xcode. So right now, there isn't that many. Me. and I'm pretty sure it's quite new but one of the most useful ones I've heard about is this one so it's like Swiftify it's actually already a website but they've actually created an Xcode um, an Xcode uh, extension now the thing about this though is I'm pretty sure it's paid so it's 99 like dollars a month which is really expensive but it looks like it's free but yeah if you're willing to pay that then this is super <gasps> oh sorry uh, this is super useful um, so yeah uh, I've already showcased this website in the past but uh, yeah I just this is the Xcode extension for it and you also have a lot of other things like uh, down here if you have like comment wrapper so you wanna, um, you wanna just comment wrap your comments I'm not really sure what this does but there was one more around here uh, where was it uh, oh, language translator. So, this one's quite useful. What you can do is, I'm pretty sure it just translates uh, your things into like a different language. So, if you're developing an app for multiple languages, you can convert it between them. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's really useful, but yeah, uh, I don't really develop apps for multiple languages, so it doesn't really affect me. But yeah, as you can see, these are quite new, and most of these don't even have any data or reviews or anything. So, uh, this one's useful. Pretty sure it makes your JSON look nice when you're trying to look at it. So, yeah, that's only one, pa one pound, so it could be useful. I've heard this one is good as well. Uh, I'm not really sure what it does, but um, yeah, I think it's more of something that is just like sort of like uh, keyboard commands, but then already in, so. Yeah, and it's free, which seems good. So I might install this. But yeah, this was just explaining these Xcode extensions. And these are useful for just speeding up your workflow. And or just, you know, uh, making you more efficient. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.